Meghan and Harry's little boy celebrated his second birthday last Thursday, May 6. The Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, was speaking on the Armchair Expert podcast about his life in California, on the west coast of the U.S., away from the royal family. The Duke of Sussex revealed on the latest episode that his son has already attended his first day of school. Prince Harry expressed his anger and frustration that the paparazzi still go to such extreme lengths to snap photos of the couple and Archie. Harry said that an outlet, took pictures of my son being picked up from school on his first day, without blurring his face out. While the Duke didn't reveal when his son's first day of school was, Archie was photographed out in California last month sporting a backpack. The pregnant Duchess of Sussex was pictured carrying her son as well as his lunchbox. Page Six reported at the time that the images of Meghan picking up their two-year-old from his first day of school were taken the day after Prince Harry arrived back in the States following his trip to the UK for his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral. Archie's older cousin Prince Louis recently attended his first day of preschool in London. In April, it was announced that Prince William and Kate's youngest son had started nursery school ahead of his third birthday. It's widely thought to be rather unethical for publications to run photos of celebrities' children without consent. Prince Harry argued it was unfair for photographers to follow children and capture pictures of them out in public just because their parents are famous. The Duke spoke about how his life changed since quitting as a senior member of the royal family and moving to America with Meghan and now two-year-old Archie. Harry said in London he became used to making constant attempts to stay under the radar while out and about, often wearing baseball caps and walking with his head lowered. In a bid to keep themselves out of the spotlight, Harry revealed he and Meghan even met in disguise at a supermarket for one of their dates and secretly texted each other items for their shopping list. But Prince Harry did say that he and Meghan feel much more at ease since their move to California. I can actually lift my head and I feel different. My shoulders have dropped, so has hers. You walk around feeling a little bit more free. I get to take Archie on the back of my bicycle. Prince Harry compared his life to The Truman Show, a film about a man whose life is scrutinized. The Duke of Sussex discussed his own struggles growing up in the spotlight and said in his early 20s he would, grin and bear it, but knew he didn't want the role for himself. Harry said it was a heavy burden and he struggled to deal with being a member of the royal family. He feared that his pregnant wife and son, Archie, would have to deal with the spotlight the same way his late mother, Princess Diana, had to deal with the enormous attention. Prince Harry has shared his gratitude for being blessed with neighbors Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom who are there to look out for him and his pregnant wife Meghan since their move to LA. The two couples have been neighbors since Orlando and Katie splashed the cash on their stunning $10 million mansion last October. The smitten pair, who share baby daughter Daisy together, moved to the area just three months after Harry and Meghan settled down with their son, Archie, too. During a candid life chat with U.S. podcast host Dax Shepard, the Duke of Sussex revealed that pirated of the Caribbean actor Orlando warned him about a photographer in the area who was in search of some pap pics. Harry's appearance on the podcast comes just days after Meghan made her first public appearance in a video for Global Citizen's Vax Live online event since the couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March. The Duke appearance on Armchair Expert may be linked to its move to Spotify from July. Harry and Meghan have signed a multi-million dollar deal with the streaming firm for their own Archwell audio channel. The Duke of Sussex was greeted by a roaring crowd at the charity Vax Live concert earlier this month in Los Angeles. Prince Harry gave a poignant speech calling for vaccines to be distributed to everyone everywhere. Body language expert Darren Stanton, who has experience analyzing members of the royal family, described how the Duke does not come across confident in most public appearances. But he explained how Harry instead appears more genuine than arrogant or egotistical. Meghan and Harry are campaign chairs of Vax Live which is organized by the anti-poverty group Global Citizen. The concert raised $53.8 million for the worldwide initiative COVAX which is aiming to ensure vaccines are shared fairly to all nations, rich and poor. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day.
Thanks and goodbye.